Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so yeah, I printed another Megazord and this time it's the Thunder Megazord. Again, uh, kudos to Toymaker3D for making an amazing model of the Thunder Megazord. Uh, it just looks so cool uh, and I had to print it for my uh, collection. So for this one, I used different silk filaments from Polymaker, Elegu, and Bamboo Labs. Uh, so yeah, silk red, uh, gold, and blue and silver, and then I use regular green and black. I also printed them all using my bamboo P1S printer and it took me about a week uh, to print. Alright, so printing is all done. I scaled it again to 130% to match my other two previous swords. Yeah, so here we go. So printing this was pretty straightforward. Uh, it's like the other models by Toymaker 3D, I didn't have to modify anything at all. Uh, I had no loose joints and I also did not use any clear nail polish for it. Just in case you're wondering, I'm using a liquid called Instaset uh, together with my crazy glue so it bonds right away. Uh, just be careful when using it as any mistakes would mean that you'd have to reprint that part. If you're interested in buying an FDM printer, uh, I would just say that it is a great investment. Uh, you can basically print anything that you want, anytime that you want it. I would just suggest to do your research and uh, see what you need. Uh, watch a couple of YouTube videos online first. Uh, there's a ton out there and the prices vary so much. Uh, I can also recommend uh, what I'm using right now, uh, the Bamboo P1S. Uh, it's about the middle to almost top end of the line and you get an option to print four different colors at a time. Uh, I think Elegu also just released one, uh, it's called Centauri Carbon for just about $300, uh, so keep an eye out for that one. I'll be doing a couple more custom rangers in the next couple of weeks, so watch out for those. I'm also planning a massive uh, Megazord cockpit, uh, so hopefully that gets done soon. It's still being worked on, uh, and then we're still doing the scaling, so that might take a while. And yeah, if you have any suggestions on what I should make next, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I really had no issues making this one. I guess I was more used to building Toymaker's uh, models as well. Uh, if you're planning to print this specific model though, uh, just make sure you do print mirror models of the hand parts. 
Uh, it will only come in the left side, uh, so you'd have to mirror it to use the dual swords. Alright, so it's almost done. Uh, just finishing up the weapons this time. Uh, it comes with a regular one-handed sword, a katana, and a trident. It also comes with uh, scabbards and display rack for the swords. So it's pretty neat. Okay, uh, here's the completed Thunder Megazord. I would say design-wise this is my favorite out of the three that I made so far. Just the samurai look just makes it so much better for me. Uh, using silk filament also made it pop more and I have some picks at the very end with the other zords and my custom rangers. Check it out and also thanks again for watching and see you on the next video.